had my very first baby about 10 months ago and we ended up going full term. We we're actually 41 weeks and two days and I got quite large. Um, baby was all out at the front, so it was all tummy, very big tummy. I ended up having a big baby. He was 9-1. And um, I was noticing when I was going through my pregnancy that I didn't get any stretch marks that I could see right away. I didn't have stretch marks when my belly was stretched to <laughs> the extreme. And after baby came out and things, you know, started to go back to a smaller, um, less stretched state, um, I didn't have any stretch marks that showed up. I really think that there are three things, three things that I did all throughout my pregnancy that really helped me not get those stretch marks. And I'm not saying this is 100% science, um, but I really do think that these things that I'm gonna share with you today helped in a massive, massive way. So that's why I wanna share them with you. The first thing that I did, so I really wanted to be as natural as I could with the baby in my body. Um, so I went to my, my favorite um, health food store in town and I was asking her, you know, what kind of lotions should I be putting on my body while baby's in there to help me not get stretch marks? And she said, you know what, there's one thing I would recommend and it is 100% virgin coconut oil. And you can see I still have a spoon in here because I still use this as my body lotion right now. Now it might seem kind of weird. I was a little bit nervous. Coconut oil, is it going to, you know, be really greasy? Is it gonna stain my um, stain my clothing? And the answer it for me was no. I found that it, you know, you have to you know rub it in. Um, there is like a little bit of a film after, but it didn't it didn't stay like wet, greasy for me. I'm just saying my arm because you can see that, but it was my belly that I was doing it. Um, and it just felt really nice and moisturized. So I ended up slathering this on my body three to four times a day, every day, just every day. <clears throat> Didn't miss a day, three to four times, pretty much throughout my whole pregnancy. You know, as soon as my, my baby belly started to grow, I started to put it on there. So like I said, I would just, you know, use the spoon, scoop it out, put it onto my hand. Um, it's hard at first and then you, you know, moisturize it, you could see, and then just put it onto the skin. So that was the first thing and um, I think that that was a massive thing. I still really like to use this instead of the lotion. I find that it works really well, it smells good. And I just like that it's just one ingredient. So the second thing, you may or may not have heard this one. You may or may not believe it. Um, it's a tried and true thing, but I'm going to mention it anyways because I think it made a big difference, and that is water. Water, water, water. Um, you know, recommended for numerous reasons, whether or not you are pregnant. I found that um, I was really thirsty during pregnancy. I was getting really hot anyways. So I would really aim to have about four liters a day of water while I was pregnant. Um, or if I could, but at least four liters. You know, water is just meant to lubricate the body, lubricate the joints, keep the skin hydrated. And that hydration, I believe, helped my body kind of stretch and my skin stretch and uh, not leave it with the stretch marks. So, you know, moisturizing, lubricating my body from the outside, and then moisturizing, lubricating my body from the inside. I think those two working together made a difference. So short and sweet for that one. And the third thing, I've been saving this one for last because I really, really think that this one also made a very big difference. I don't know if you've been pregnant before. I don't know if this is your first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth baby. Um, but when I found when my tummy was growing, when my baby was growing, when my skin was stretching, my stomach was so, so itchy. 
so itchy. Just wanted to just like scratch it and like scratch and just, you know, just something to alleviate that kind of pulling. Um, and it was the very first stop that I'd mentioned you to you before where I went to that health food store and I talked to the person there. The other thing that she mentioned to me was do not scratch your stomach. Whatever you do, do not scratch. And she said, when you do those scratches, your nails create little micro tears in your skin. And that is what can cause the stretch marks, just those little, you know, little injuries you're causing to your skin every time you scratch. Um, and I mean, I didn't look into it anymore. I just took what she said and I said, okay. So what I did do, instead of scratching with my nails, I kept it palms. So no, <laughs> no nails. So in those moments where my skin was so, so itchy, I would grab the coconut oil if I could, if it was available to me, if not, and I would just use my fingertips and kind of, you know, scratch that area that way without getting into the nails you know move the skin use the fingertips give it that kind of like hello i'm there um, i feel you let me help alleviate your skin um, but not using the nails and i was very diligent with that very very cautious there were a couple of times that um because like i mentioned i have long nails you know i accidentally scratched my belly or I was lifting up my dog and my dog's nail scratched my belly and I was like, no, and it did create this big red line because the skin was stretched. Um, so what I did in that moment, which is, this is a side thought, um, is apply some Arnica um, cream. It's not cream, Arnica gel, and it seemed to help. So I will, I'll show you my, I'll show you my, um, my postpartum, I don't know if I'm postpartum anymore, my, you know, 10 month post baby, baby belly. So you can see that I really, I really do believe that these things helped me and I really hope that they help you. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to come along uh, for some more videos, uh, please hit subscribe. And I truly hope that this helps you. And I truly hope that you enjoy your pregnancy and everything goes well and uh, all the best with new babe. So without further ado, let me get up here for you. Baby belly. So this is extreme close up. So there you have it. Thank you again for being here with me. I wish you all the best. Take care and uh, we'll see you next time.